gosh. I don't know why this is difficult. How many times do I have to do this? I'm getting kind of irritated. Alright. Let's, let's play around on my computer a little bit because I have to turn my phone back on. You know, sometimes when the phone gets tired, sometimes it's best just to either restart it or turn it off for a bit. So I'm going to turn it on. Hey, you can watch that. I think. <laughs> let's see. Maybe. Let's see what it does. I'm going to go like this or off to the side. Yeah, I'm going to do it off to the side because um, the screen's really bright and it messes with the, the webcam. It's kind of weird. So you can watch it turn on. Again, this is the Moto E5 Plus and I got to do my pattern. Okay. Oh, it's going to do this. Got to do it off this side here. I don't know how long that's going to take. I guess we can time it, huh? <laughs> hey, you people can watch this video all the way through. You are so awesome. You are awesome. I'm always lo looking at I'm looking at the screen right now. But anyway, and uh, this is what the screen looks like. Let's see if I can make, um, turn down the brightness on it. I see. Well, that's what I accidentally clicked on. So anyway, it looks like this. Okay. It looks a little blurry. That's because I don't have focus on. And the dog's barking. That's Joni, by the way. You know, that is the best dog ever. Maybe somebody out there is petting her. I hear whining. I, I know that's something petting her. <laughs> She's an awesome dog. So I guess it's a sort of a vlog. It's not a, a how-to video. It's going to come off as a how-to video. You might get something from this, okay? Um, I think you might. Okay, it's more like a show-and-tell type of thing of what I learned yesterday. You know what I mean? So I, I guess I will be showing you stuff. And I'll turn the screen back up. And let my fo uh, phone warm up. But now, what I'm about to show you, what I did first is I turned off the, the data on my phone because I don't want it to do anything while I'm showing you this cool stuff, okay? Um, I'm getting to it, trust me. Again, yeah. So, I won't be able to surf or anything like that, but I can text and make phone calls. I can do that. And later on, if I want to surf the web, I'll turn the data back on in the phone. <laughs> oh, crap. This is going to take too long. With a simple screen recorder. Okay. Oh, uh, three minutes. I guess I ain't too bad. I should be able to do all of this in less than 15 minutes, right? Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> okay. A while back, I, some months back, I tried this little program from the Google Play Store called Visor. It's a thing where you can uh, mirror your Android phone onto your desktop computer and it was something that would work on my Linux machine but in order for it to work on my Linux machine I had to install it on my phone and then in Google Chrome I had to install this extension or plugin okay whatever in order to get it to work and it worked a couple of times but my phone did weird stuff so I wasn't too sure about that so I uninstalled the visor and got rid of it all and stuff like that and and now yesterday I got bored again and I go, I wonder if I can find another program where I don't have to install anything on my Android phone and, and have it not have to be rooted, you know what I mean? So this program I found, you can use it and your phone does not have to be rooted, okay? It's called SCRCPY, it's called, and you have to install uh, snap the little, the little snap program for Linux you have to because the this little program's a snap program you'll see what I mean uh, from snap craft and uh, and I will uh, I will include links down below okay in the description of the video okay so in order to install SCR CPY you have to install snap over here 
you install this first then you go to and try and ins install this and then I did this half ass so glad this is not a how to video um, what I did was I'm going to enlarge this because my the, the Linux I'm using is Ubuntu based I actually had to go through all this right here these three little items okay and so I had to either um, type it in or copy and paste this sudo app update then you press enter you do these things one at a time and when it's done doing its thing then you uh, type it in or copy and paste this sudo apt install snap d or you if you have a um, synaptic package manager you can install this part you look for this part in the software and if it's listed you install it that way okay uh, I did all this through the terminal and so then I press enter it and let it do its thing and then I went to install that program and this you I guess you have to do it through the terminal correct me if I'm wrong hey I'm kinda new you know what I mean still learning stuff every day um you uh, type in or copy and paste sudo snap install scrcpy and you press enter and you let it do its thing and when it's done and when it's done okay when it's done you uh, you type down all this stuff pretend you know and then you close the window okay and then you wait a bit mm -hmm. and then you bring up the terminal window again and now you and now you if everything went fine okay looks fine okay fine now you have to uh, type in this command line into the terminal in order to get this SCRCPY program to pop up okay so what you can do is oh the first oh gosh almost skipped almost skipped a step oh my god <laughs> okay you did all that right and don't type in the command yet of course I haven't showed you the command um, now you, you're going to have to prep your phone first um, on your Moto E5 Plus because that's what I have, sorry you swoop down, you swoop down okay, and then you go to settings you, do, you uh, tap on the little nut bolt thingy and then you scroll down what the hell? oh you scroll down, you tap on system, and then you scroll down again until you see about phone. And then you scroll down until you see build number. You tap it until something tells you something. And then it'll ask you for either your pin, your fingerprint, or your uh, pattern. You just enter it, whatever. Okay. And it'll say, you are now a developer. Okay. So now you want to backspace okay one time and then you see uh, in system you see this thing called developer options and then you see that developer options is turned on and then you scroll down to debugging and since I'm only going to use use the USB method under debugging you want to turn on USB debugging and click OK and then you minimize and clear it up your phone set okay so now you install hopefully you did good installing the SCR CPY whatever through the from what I showed you sorry so glad it's not a how-to video <laughs> I can see people going, you dumb idiot, you took this long. I wonder how long I took. Oh, nine minutes. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> so, so anyway, you, you plug in your USB cord, okay, into your phone. You plug in USB cord to your phone and you take your, the USB part, <laughs> plug it into the front of your desktop computer, make sure I get the right part yeah I'm kinda of blind people so then 
got it, this plugged in to your desktop computer and then a thing on your phone would pop up like that see that little white blur and then it says allow USB debugging you click OK okay oh shit yeah okay 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 cool so then you swipe down because you gotta do something first and you have, you're gonna be given one or two choices if the second choice you see is Android system USB charging this device tap on that Android system USB charging this device so then below it says tap for more options you tap on it and then you want to um, put it on transfer files you tap on that transfer files so now you're ready to oh and then might ask you <coughs> ask you again you know I'm kind of doing this wrong but oh well so if I ask for permission again just go click OK OK <laughs> So now you're you're ready to bring up the program SCR CPY. And what you're gonna do is I'm gonna bring up this little note I made. And it says if you manage to install this just fine in Linux using Snap, then you can copy and paste this command line into the terminal. You know, install SCR CPY. Yeah, but that that. So you wanna type this whole thing in or copy and paste okay and then minimizes and then go up here to terminal right click paste and then you press enter I want to give me a warning again <gasps> oh yay see here it is people right here that's the program Anyway, while this program is up, you don't want to close out the terminal. Instead, you minimize the terminal. <laughs> See, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's right there. <laughs> so, um, I guess it mirrors everything you do. Yeah, that's why I'm using simple screen recording to record this whole thing. Um, so now you can just move your phone like this and just like this. And I would show you my programs going up, but there's a program I don't want you to see, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to swoop up. Um, but yeah. So let's play a game. I want to show us something. Oh, I know another cool thing. If you swipe down and you um, tap on this, okay, there's a reason. Okay, there you go. So, if you turn your phone this way, I think. Oh, that's right. You have to be running something. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it sounds silly. Okay, so I'm going to have to be doing something, huh? Let's, uh, let's look at some photos. Let's look at photos. Okay. And I clicked on photos, Google Photos app. And then... Let's look at some pictures. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, and if you see this picture is this way, right? Okay, but now if you turn your phone this way, okay, it turns the um, SCR CPY screen copy capture whatever this way. Okay, or if you want to turn your phone back right side up like this, it turns it that way. Let's look at some cool pictures, why don't we? Eh, I love clouds. Some pictures. We went traveling around. I love boats too. Can you, can you tell? Yeah, and that one, this one here was a panorama. That's why you see that little circly thing, but I'm not going to play with that. Turned out well. Oh, I love clouds. So anyway, I'm going to go like this. I can turn right up. And then I'm going to minimize this by tapping here. And then clear all. Tap the clear all. And then press the circle button. That's right here to bring it home. Uh, and that's about all I really want to show you. I just want to show you what I learned. I'm not going to show you a lot. 
but I will show you this one thing. When you're done playing with the, the program, this program right here that's installed on your computer, when you're done, you want to do these two things first because if you don't, you're going to leave your phone vulnerable. Okay? As you can see right here, um, I turned off the data before I even started any of this business. Again, so that I can't surf the web, get updates, interruptions, and so on and so on. For security reasons, just to show this stuff. And the other thing you're going to do now, when you're done with this program, you're going to shut it down. you got to do these things to your phone first. Cause I, well, you don't have to, but I want to show you what you need to do. Okay? And all you to do that is you go into Settings. And then you scroll down. And you go to System. And then you see this thing right here, Developer Options, right here. You want to tap on that. Now, I'm not going to do this, but I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Good things, okay? You want to scroll down to Debugging, okay? Um, that's the first thing you want to turn off. You move that slider over to here, and it'll gray it out like right here. Okay, this is off, this is on you want to tap on that to turn it off. And when you do that, your this program will shut down. Okay. Now, this the second thing you're going to want to do is turn off developer options. You want to first turn off USB debugging and then you're going to want to turn off developer options. So you tap on that to turn it off. And then you um, clear everything out on your phone and stuff like that by, you know, you touching the square thing and then you go up here and you'll clear all and there you go. And then you just clear it out. So you're going to want to do that. And, and then when you're done, you turned everything off, then you unplug your phone okay you unplug your phone and then from there you can turn your data back on your phone and stuff like that if you want to and surf the web whatever on your phone so that's about it so I'm gonna do that and of course this program is going to shut down mm, system developer options and then uh, under debugging, you want to tur turn this off, and they'll shut this part of the program down. And as you can see, it turned the program down. And now you see developer options still turned on. Okay, you want to turn that off, and then you clear it out. You know, just minimize it. You press in a little square, to, and it, it give you option to clear it out and stuff like that, okay? And then you can unplug it from your phone. And there you go. And because if you don't do that, you're going to leave your phone a little bit vulnerable, you know. And that's not secure. And that's all I have to say. Peace out. I'm going to do a simple screen recorder. Yeah. How long did it take? Too long? Well, that's okay. Like I say, over and over and over again in this video. If you can watch this whole damn thing, you are awesome. And you must be really bored. <laughs>